everyone, what is up and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amanda and I make lifestyle, college, and entrepreneurship content on this YouTube channel. And I hope you guys stick around, join the fam, join the squad. We would love to have you here. So as you can see by today's title, I'm doing a little morning reset routine. I honestly, the past few days, so I haven't uploaded a video since last Tuesday. Um, so a little bit, probably around a week, I would say. I literally have been feeling like shit. And honestly, I'm kind of a hypochondriac, so like when I feel things, I search it up on Google and then Google tells me the most outrageous things and then I think about that until I'm feeling better. So that's kind of what I was going through. Um, so I kind of fell, fell back or like got behind on like a lot of my YouTube work, a lot of my schoolwork, um, things like that. So I want to take this morning before I start my job. Um, to just kind of reset, refresh, and just get back into it because I'm feeling much better. My stomach's not hurting, my back's not hurting, my head's not hurting, my neck's not hurting. So we're doing a little bit better. Um, so yeah, I wanted to just take today to do a little housekeeping thing. So um, I want to do some journaling, tidying up. Um, I need to put my clothes away. I need to plan a bit for the week ahead. So that's kind of what we're doing and where we're at. Um, so welcome to the vlog i hope you enjoyed your stay and i yeah we're gonna move to a new place and we're gonna look at our horoscope for the day or our zodiac because i love to do that because i don't know why but i just love to do that first things first i just opened up the window a little bit because it's a little bit hot in here but it doesn't deserve a c type of hot we got the window open some sunlight coming in it's a good vibe it's a good vibe okay so i wanted to look at my horoscope for the day so we're gonna go find our horoscope. Um, okay, so does anyone have a Canon camera and and like experience the camera going dark? Cause like right now it's dark, but like, I don't know how to make it brighter. Anyways, let me know. So we're gonna do daily horoscopes. Horoscope, so I have a daily horoscope app. It looks like, just like that. Um, so I'm a Taurus. It is Sunday, September 26th. So my horoscope for the day is a problem is not going to somehow fix itself miraculous, miraculous, miraculously. <laughs> Taurus, although you may be what you have been hoping for, you are usually... Okay, we're going to restart that because I don't know punctuation. A problem is not going to somehow fix itself miraculously, Taurus, although that may be what you have been hoping for. You're usually way more practical than that. So this is something that, uh, that makes you feel overwhelmed or uncomfortable. You should find that the most difficult step of all is just acknowledging the problem and trying to figure it out. Once you go there, you will see that it is something you have, can handle quite well. If you do this today, you won't even have to think about it tomorrow. It doesn't seem like it's going to be the best day of my life today, so that's great. Um, but here we are. We're, it's so dark. Here we are. We are refreshing. We are rejuvenating ourselves and we are coming back to being who we want to be. So yeah, I just thought it'd be fun to read my horoscope for a bit. Um, I'm going to figure out what else I got to get done this morning and I will be right back. So I decided to mosey down to my bed. I don't even know if that's what the saying is and do some journaling because there's nothing like a morning journal. So I just did some little pointers for my prompts. So how am I feeling? What do I want to achieve this week since it's Sunday and I'm going to write for the week ahead? What am I grateful for and manifest something? So I want to talk about what am I grateful for? I feel like a lot of the times we like just, we don't really acknowledge the things that we're grateful for. We acknowledge the things that we want to change. And I'm guilty of this. Like I'm always like, oh, like I wish I had this. I wish I had that. I wish I've done this. I wish I've done that. I wish I experienced this, blah, blah, blah. But I don't realize that even though there's things that I wish I experienced or there's things that I wish I've done differently or wish things turned out differently or whatever it may be, um, I don't realize all the things that I do have and all the things that turned out the way that I wanted them to turn out or the things that turned out a different way but ended up being better. Like, I feel like as humans, we're always thinking about how we can change or how we can get more and get better and have more things and I think that's fine because we always have to concentrate like on the future and how we can improve and all that stuff but I think we also just don't realize or recognize all the good things that we have in our life and like what we're grateful for and sometimes I literally write the same things each week what I'm grateful for because sometimes it doesn't change but I think just reflecting on the good stuff too and like what I am grateful for is important in my like whole self journey and self-love journey that I'm on right now so kind of just want to speak on that but that's how I feel about that so I always include like what am I grateful for or I try to always include it um in my journal prompts 
And like I said in another video, a staple part of my reset routine every Sunday is just cleaning up and clearing off the desk because this is where I do everyday work. Like literally like my part-time job is done here. My YouTube freelance job is done here. My schoolwork is done here. So it becomes, it becomes this. So we're going to just tidy it up. I mean, obviously it's gonna get messy again, but that's why we tidy it up every Sunday and just get a fresh new restart of this. So we're gonna clean this up now. Okay, so she's tidied up, looking cute or whatever. Now I think I'm going to sit down here after I just tidied it up and kind of plan out for the week, plan out any assignments that I have to do, any work that I have to get done, any schoolwork, um, freelance work, things like that. So I'm just gonna sit there and plan that out. Um, and then I might just put my clothes away later. Is this me procrastinating? Probably, but I think I'm gonna put them away later because I do have to work in about 45 minutes. So I'm gonna put those away later. So it won't be included in the video, but I promise, I promise y'all I'll put it away. Um, And then I wanna end off the video with a little mental health chat because I think it's important. And I think it just goes with the vibe of the video. So we're gonna sit down and plan a bit and see how this goes. So as always, we have our daily happiness planner, which is basically my weekly to-do list since the list is literally just so long. Um, so we're going to plan everything out on here. Um, I'm going to look at my agenda and my online calendar and then go from there. So I have my online calendar and then I have my physical one because sometimes I just forget to write things on both of them and I just like having two visuals, okay? Um, so I'm going to start just planning out what I have to get done this week. Okay, so, so far we don't got too, too much. Like we got half the bullet points filled. I put it by date so far, but then if anything adds on, I'll just add them down here. So this is what I'm going to live by for the week. And then obviously every day I just have my little daily to-do list. I don't usually do them on the weekends much. If I have a lot of things to do, I'll do it. But I usually just save these for the weekdays because that's when I'm busier. So we got this done. So we're done planning. We're done planning for today. Just gonna put this to the side. Okay guys, so I did a lot of what I wanted to get done this morning. I did my bed, which I have been trying to do more of. Um, made my morning coffee, which I'm almost done drinking. I did my little horoscope, did some journaling to just get myself in a good mood, gratitude and everything. Tidied up my desk and did not put my clothes away, but like I said, I'll do it later. And then I planned for the week ahead. Um, I kind of wanted to end the video off talking a little bit about mental health and stuff because I feel like it's just not talked about enough. If y'all are new here or if you didn't know, I have been diagnosed with depression, anxiety, and I have ADD. So that's kind of like what I'm experiencing and like what, what I'm just going through on a daily basis. So some days are good, some days are bad, some days are just mediocre and normal. The past few days, I've been good. I've just, like I said, I've been really anxious and like hypochondriac. Um, but starting school again, I have been this like a big nervous ball of like anxiety, depression, like my ADD is kicking in a lot more now and like having so much trouble concentrating and all these things. So I just want to be open with y'all and like let you know that if you're if you're going through this, you're not alone and that a lot of people have depression, a lot of people have anxiety, a lot of people have ADD and it's okay to talk about it. It's okay to be open about it. It's okay to have these things because these things don't define us and these things are a part of us and they make us who we are and we have to live with it. Um, I feel like these things do make us stronger as people. They make us learn a lot more about ourselves and I mean, at the end of the day, I have depression, I have anxiety, I have ADD. It's not gonna just go away with a big, like with the snap of a finger. So I'm gonna live with it, I'm gonna deal with it, I'm going to learn how to better understand myself and better understand what I'm going through and help myself. So I asked you guys to ask me some questions on Instagram and I got literally the same one, the same two multiple times. So the first one is, how do you cope or go through your worst days? And I think at First, I used to just pretend I wasn't experiencing it or just pretend they didn't exist or pretend I was okay. And doing that was really bad because it just prolonged the sadness or prolonged the anxiety because I wasn't 
facing head on what I was experiencing or facing head on what was bothering me. So now what I do is if I'm feeling very anxious, if I'm feeling depressed or if I'm feeling anything, I will sit down with myself obviously and just kind of drop, like write down like how I'm feeling, why I think I'm feeling this, if anything triggered it or anything like that. Because if you get to the root cause of what is triggering your anxiety or triggering your depression or triggering whatever you have, it's easier to kind of figure out a solution to that and figure out how you can help yourself and figure out how you can get past that rather than sitting there like, oh, I'm going to pretend it's not happening. I'm going to brush it off. I'm going to push it to tomorrow. And that builds. Like, I don't know if everyone else experiences that, but if I am anxious or I'm feeling a way, I, if I were to put it to the side, it would just build, build, build until I literally have a mental breakdown. So that's kind of what I've been doing. And the other question I get a lot is how do you get out of a funk? For me to get out of a funk, um, I need to realize that I'm in a funk and then take a day off. I need to take a day off from school, work, everything. Like I have to have, I usually have a day in the week where I don't have school or work. So those are like my primary days that like I can do that. Um, But really to get out of funk, I need a day to just relax, chill, recuperate, sleep if I need to sleep and just do fun things. For me, fun things is taking pictures, watching YouTube and Netflix, Sometimes it's coloring, sometimes it's making candles, sometimes it's going to cafes, like I just, I need the days where I do things that make me happy, genuinely happy, and not be doing anything that has to do with work. Like I love doing YouTube, I love filming, I love all these things, um, but I still consider it work, so I can't do work on days that I need to get myself out of a funk, you know what I mean? Um, so anyways... This is going to be, this. I'm rambling a lot now. But this is how I feel. And I just really want to talk about mental health a little bit because I feel like it's just like not spoken about enough. And I have a platform, whether it be big or small, I do want to talk about important things. So anyways, that's, I wanted to end the video off on this little note. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I literally do this reset routine every single Sunday because it just gets me ready for the week ahead of me. Um, and I want to know, do you guys consider the start of the week on Sundays or the start of the week on Mondays? I always like to think the start of the week as Mondays because Sundays is my reset and then Monday is my starting day. But I feel like people, some people think Sundays are their start of the week and some people think Mondays. So comment down below which one you think it is. Thank you guys so much again for watching and I will see you next time. Bye guys.